do have a little visitor. Good morning. I should go outside guys, but it's cold outside right now. <laughs> this is why I really wanted to do my van bill like as soon as possible in the summer and not waiting for the winter because now it gets super chilly and the last thing I want to do right now is to go outside and after that the rain season is going to start which what we have here in the winter uh, next week I look the forecast and look it's going to be a full week almost of rain which is great for the first fire uh, great for that but not so great for the van bill itself so I should go outside though the sun just poke out so <laughs> gotta let things warm up a little bit good morning kitty <laughs> yeah that's the time of year <laughs> Outside, kitty. Even kitty's cold. You're puffy. <laughs> You're puffy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> well, it's not my fault if it's cold. Stay in the sun. It's gonna warm up. So the plan for today, we'll see how much I'm doing today. <laughs> it is to um uh, I removed this panel by the way yesterday to look at it. We're going to build another little box if you want. That's going to be an outdoor little kitchen. Um, but I, there's one wire here, so I have to be careful with that. I'm going to have to push it. And um, I need to measure a couple things. I don't want the box to go too much inside the door, inside the the van and stuff uh, because I don't want to push my fridge too much into my walkway let's put it that way um, so I need to measure a couple things yeah I need to measure things and I don't want to put too much stuff uh, into that step here I think I like I like having the step right now, it's just like um, painting stuff, so you know, if it's pale or anything, something happened, it's just gonna go outside, I'm not gonna go inside my van, but yeah, I do like, I think I want to keep it, alright, so I measure my little uh, cook stove that I usually take. This one's going to be just put it there when I'm going to cook outside. I'm not going to buy a new one. Um, and it's 12, I need 12 by 10. 12 by 10, that's the, the step if you want to put the stove. And I would like it a little bit bigger. So that's going to be 13 by 12. Will be plenty enough to, a place I think to put the stove itself. All right, after one hour, <laughs> I feel like it's been one hour that I've been like looking at everything. It's because there's some wire inside the door and obviously I don't want to go attach them with the grinder and I don't want, you know, uh, you know, bend them too much. So I figure the box going to be 13 wide by 14 high. And I do have enough to do the box itself, but I don't have enough to do the door, which I'm not surprised. I had a feeling that I wouldn't have, uh, have enough. So that's okay. We have plenty enough work to do. 
uh, we're gonna I'm gonna do the box first so what I'm gonna do different from this time to this side I'm gonna do the box first I'm gonna glue it yeah I have to think about what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue it after that when it's gonna be glue and set I'm gonna trace where exactly where the door is gonna go on the door no, I'm gonna trace on on the panel itself, on the black panel. Sorry, I'm gonna trace on the black panel itself where the box gonna go. I'm gonna cut the black panel from the black panel. I'm gonna trace where exactly where the hole is gonna end up. So I think it's gonna be the difference. Instead of finishing with the black panel and try to guess where exactly where the box is, uh, I was semi lucky I was pretty lucky on this one uh, it's not perfect but it's good enough but yeah I don't want where are you going <laughs> I don't want to have to um, guess all this so what I'm gonna do do the box first trace on the black panel cut the black panel trace into this piece of metal and cut the piece of metal that's a plan the box is all cut uh, to cut like a perfect um, side and everything be like all the same so my box is easier to assemble obviously and stay straight I just put them to like two by two like this and I just make sure that those two are perfect so top and bottom will be the same size the same link so it's not like you know crooked so this is what I do with uh, the scale saw obviously the best will be with a table saw but hey we don't have a table saw and uh, so that's all square all good um, so now I'm going to use the uh, biscuit grinder uh, if you didn't saw my video where I did that door, this is what I'm going to use to assemble everything. So all that work, it makes some little hole in with some tiny little biscuit that we put inside with the glue. It just, this biscuit swallow if you want and make the assemble all together strong. Uh, so... This should be quite fast because it's already set up for three quarter inch plywood. So just need to figure out where we're gonna put the holes and do it. moment or two I'm gonna see if it's uh, square Fifteen and three eighths okay I need to push this one so I need to let that uh, box dry for a little while we're gonna sand it, we're gonna paint it and trace everything. Alright, I'll remove all the glue on my on my hands. Alright, for the back of the box, I need a panel. And I thought I had some leftover underneath my mattress. And I look and I'm like, oh no, I use it all. Uh, but I think I found, I think I found a solution. So behind this one here, uh, this one was one that I built 
Uh, the panel is actually not attached to the cabinet anymore. It just fell. And because we're going to redo the cabinets, I'm thinking we could maybe fish that. I don't know if we can do it. And we use that panel. I thought I could show you a little bit of the view because I've been looking at the view but you guys have been looking just at my van and my self. So this has been dry drying for like a good hour. super <laughs> original I just had a little bit of curry flour that I really have to eat and I failed to eat some rice I ate some rices today <laughs> so I don't know I failed to eat some rice so I'm gonna make a uh, curry flour of uh, one avocado green onion I don't know put everything together <laughs> that's gonna be good enough for me today Alright, little lunch. It's definitely warmer, guys. It's perfect, in fact. Alright, so the box is almost uh, dry. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna reinstall this panel here. Just two or three screws. And I'm gonna grab the box, trace it where I want it. That's gonna be an easier setup. So, there you go guys, way easier to do it than like this than uh, the first time. Okay, so now I'm going to trace exactly where the door is going to come. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it a little bit differently from the first time that I've done it too. So I'm not sure you're going to be able to see because my pen, <laughs> my pen doesn't work anymore. But I'm going to cut some little angle here, little angle there. So that's going to be my L bracket. So I'm going to bend that and screw into that. That's the plan. So I'm going to make a couple. I'm going to have a box pretty soon. <laughs> should work. Kind of glad that this step is over. <laughs> so hopefully the box is going to fit into that hole and make it a little bit bigger. Hopefully enough though. All right, so I tried the box. The box fit. We need to put insulation. But before I do that, I'm going to paint the panel black so it'll have time to dry. We're going to install the box. It's going well, guys. Uh, that's the proof that when you do things twice, <laughs> the second times go way faster because this box, I mean, this box took, I think we've done in three videos with like two days with the box and like one day with the back panel. Uh, so <laughs> it's going well, guys. <laughs> So I vacuum everything inside all the metal. I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on the edge. Oops. Just a little bit. 
All right, the box is there installed. I just need to put some screw and make sure that's required. The same everywhere. There you go, guys. <laughs> I'm excited. So I won't um I won't put all the screws because I think I'm going to go buy an L bracket just to, for a little extra support like I've done the other side but uh, bending things were just like saved me a bunch of L bracket that was great <laughs> you've been outside she been outside like the whole time I put some some food she didn't eat she just been enjoy so Project almost done. I'm so glad it went fast. Uh, last night I was thinking about all the steps and everything and I was like, yeah, I think I think I can do it faster than the first time. You know, the first time you know, you're not sure, you just think and think and think and think and rethink. Um, the only part that was a little bit hard, it was to figure out the size that I wanted for my stove and we're going to figure that out with the door if that's if we did a good job because the door is going to end open and that's going to be my platform to cook so yeah i guess that's going to be you guys the last video my battery just flashing so i guess that's a good time i've been recording a lot today usually usually the battery doesn't flash after one video so we've been recording a lot so i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to subscribe i really deeply appreciate all of you guys uh i know 50 percent of my audience are not subscribed so maybe maybe if you like those van bell video because we still have a lot to do <laughs> we still have a lot of project to do uh and i'm gonna let you but i'm just kidding <laughs> what? Hey, you. What's going on? Are you mad because I didn't spend so much time with you today? Oh, baby. Baby. Come on. Mm -hmm. We have a little kiss. Get it. Get it. No. <laughs> nope. She doesn't feel for a kiss, guys. All right. We will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.